This was the America of the Indian nations, a land of crystal flowing streams, quiet forests, and vast plains. Here the Indian pursued a way of life that changed but little over centuries. Today, there still exists a part of that America caught in our national parks and forests. On Indian reservations located in some of these parks, early life is still being followed by descendants of those first Americans. But the advantages of the modern world are attractive to these young people, just as they are to young people everywhere. As a result, the old culture already changed is swiftly disappearing. The motion picture you are about to see was made to preserve a part of the vanishing culture of the American Indian. As citizens and as oil men, we are particularly interested in all forms of conservation. For example, in our exploration and drilling operations, vital to the expanding power needs of our economy, we make sure that the natural beauty of areas surrounding our sites remains undisturbed, that fish and wildlife are protected. Our scientists strive to develop new techniques to avoid waste so that generations may be assured of the vital natural resource, oil, to meet their needs. Thus, through conservation, the natural resources of scenic beauty and abundant power can be used to enrich our lives and those of our children. These are the mountains of our west, where the sun god seeks his slumber, where the west wind goes a-wooing, and the evil spirits lurk. Before the coming of the white man, this was the Indian's country. There were many tribes speaking different languages. The so-called Plains Indians were a nomadic people, always on the move. They followed the buffalo on his migrations, and as they moved back and forth across the plains, meeting different tribes, speaking different languages, it became necessary for them to have some sort of inter-tribal means of communication. And that is how the Indian Sign Language came about. Even today, when Indians of different tribes meet in council or in celebration, the old-timers continue to use this graceful language. Where the mountains break away to the rolling plains, in the land of the Blackfeet, such a powwow is in progress. Here, along the Two Medicine River, Indians from many of the Plains tribes have gathered to discuss their mutual problems, visit old friends, and keep alive the customs and traditions of their forefathers. One group is playing the ever popular hand game, or stick game. They have two bones, one wrapped with colored yarn. The trick is to guess which hand holds the decorated one. The 
side having the bronze tries to confuse the Indian doing the guessing. One of the songs is to their friend, the rabbit. They sing, rabbit, don't tell him, rabbit, don't tell him. chiefs sit apart, smoking the pipe in solemn council, trying to meet the new conditions, but mostly lost in nostalgia for the old days, when the buffalo, the elk, and the antelope were as thick as the grass on the prairie, while the women, as of old, they take charge of the routine work of the camp. High Eagle is coming. High Eagle is coming. Okay, 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 Sofina. Takawa. We were wondering whether it'd be over for the council. You know, anytime you have a powwow, I'll come along if I possibly can. There are many of your old friends here among these missing Indians. Some from Crow Agency, Sue from Pine Ridge, Rap the whole show showing from Wind River. Good. I'll be glad to see them all. Long time no him. Right. Do you remember how our old friend Chief goes in the lodge used to greet someone he was fond of? He'd always say, Long time, no see him. But today, I see you, and the sun is in my heart. Everything is all right. Remember? 
Jack, it's good to see you. Chief uh, White Camp has asked me to tell these visiting Indians the story of the Big End, how some became known as Black Beach and some were called Blood. I'll tell the story in the sign language, and you, my friend, will interpret for these young, educated Indians. Very few of them understand signs or know much about our old customs. Yeah, maybe so, Uncle, but they haven't forgotten how to fight. You certainly demonstrated that. Still, it's too bad that many of the old traditions are slipping away from you young people. Take the sign language, for instance. Even though some of you may know the meaning of certain signs, their origin has been lost. Sign for courtship among the young people, for instance, made like that. Why? Because whenever a young man wanted to talk confidentially to a girl, he put his blanket around her that way and talked to her. Talk, as you know, is like that. But small talk, that's a whisper. So while he stood talking to her, the people of the village would walk past. They respected his privacy. That's how that sign came about. Now you take these visiting Indians, for instance, over here. Here's an Arapaho. You make the sign for him like that. Because years ago, the Arapahoes tattooed themselves on the chest. And the way they tattooed was to take porcupine quills or cactus needles, bind them together, and tattoo in the design on the chest. Now, the Arapahoes haven't tattooed all for many, many years, but that's still the sign for that fellow. And that's true. Like this. Some people say that means cutthroats. There's one explanation that's even simpler than that. When the Sioux first came out onto the plains, he wore a long bead. He made a necklace of it. So one Indian meeting another said, what you call him that new Indian that's come out here? Well, how you speak him? He says, don't know. But he wears this thing here, a necklace. And look at the different way they wear their hair. The Sioux and the Arapaho part their hair in the middle and wear it in two long braids. But the Blackfoot, like the Shoshone and the Crow, has two parts in his hair, one on either side. Then he roaches his forelock into a sort of pompadour. But in one respect, they're all alike. They all braid their scalp lock and wear it in a single braid behind. Then take the sign for the different animals. The dog, for instance, made like that. Because long before the Indians ever had horses, the dog dragged the travoy. That's the mark of the two poles of the travoy. Then these different animals that have horns and antlers, like the buffalo. The elk, spread antlers. Antelope only has two prongs. Well then, there's the sign for the white man. He always wore a hat. A bread. Because the Mexicans taught the southern Indians to make bread, then they passed it along to the northern tribe. And the Mexican, the sign for him, he was the first man they saw wearing a beard. As you know, many treaties is a pretty good sign talker. You watch his signs carefully, and I'll interpret for you as he tells his story. Right here? Yes. Good. Now, let's start. Okay. Long time ago. My people had all this country. in numbers, there were many lodges in our villages. We were strong people, vigorous. We were happy. one year, now year is indicated by winter, winter congealed, the snow piled up. One winter, one year, the game was scarce, just here and there, scattered. The elk, and the antelope, and the buffalo, gone away. Chief. He had the headmen called, summoned into council. Get 
And he told them, he called them here because the game was scarce, his people were hungry, and unless some decision was made, they might starve to death. Now hunger, this means to kill, but to kill in the direction of oneself means that they're going to be killed by hunger. So that unless they arrived at a decision, they might start. So bear child got up. Bear child, you see the sign of the paws? Now the bear rears up. Bear child, he got up, he said. All the pagans, that being the sign of the pagans are hungry. My children do not sleep at night. Now night covers over and day opens out. Is your negative? No. To sleep. At night they sleep? No. But they cry. I'm a mighty hunter. I, and mighty in this sense, meaning I'm foremost, I'm a hunter, to look, to look about. So he said, I hunt away ahead of all the others. Every little while, often, I get on my horse and I go hunting. But I see no buffalo. I see him not. So I give up, meaning that he has struck an object to which he cannot penetrate and he falls back. I give up and return to my teepee. My squaw, meaning the woman who sits beside me, and my children, and grandchildren, because the grandparents carry the children on their shoulders very often, their back. They weep when I come back to the teepee and food I have not to give them. Buffalo meat, I give them no. So they weep. I say that we should move, meaning tearing down the teepees, loading up the travois, and moving camp. So then weight and water got up. Water. He's a fellow who walks in it, wades in water. He said, my children are hungry. In the past, we've been hungry. We've possessed it. We've had hunger. But we've survived. We've lived. We've come up. Now, maybe so ahead, when the snow falls, it gets deep in the mountains, in those mountain peaks, the elk will be driven down. So I say, we stay here. The idea being that he plants his lance in the ground and that's where he stays. Then Black Eagle got up. The eagle, that eagle, Black. And he told him, he said, meaning that you, you nurse together. I've listened to my brothers. They've spoken straight, straight from their hearts. Now, I'm an old man. I'm worried. 
my heart's all, all sort of disturbed. Now, our chief, he's a pretty wise fellow. See, uh, that means smart, because a wolf or a coyote is the smartest animal they know. So our chief is like a wolf. He's smart. So let him make that big decision. That's the thing that has to be done. So the chief said, I have listened to my brother. My heart is heavy. It's on the ground. The game, meaning the buffalo, your meat, is scarce. The people are hungry. So I have made the decision. I have definitely decided that we will separate. Child, you take your band and move toward the rising sun. See, the sun comes up. Wait in water. You will take your band and move toward the setting sun. Black Eagle, your band will remain here. Buffalo, so that our women and children will eat and survive. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. United. Now, spring means winter is over. Winter is cold. It's over. It's cold as spinach. Snow has been piling up, and now it's all gone. The grass is coming up, all indicating spring. They came back. They met. They eat well, just as though they were filled up to there. They were strong. Now this band returning from the east, they came across a country that had been all burned over, fire. And their moccasins and their legs were all, they were all black with soot and ashes. gave them the name, that is, he spoke to them, and they had it, he gave it to them, the name 
flat feet. that had berry patches in it. But you see, bushes are here, grass is down here, trees up here. So these bushes had little berries all over them, sort of berry patches. And they'd eaten them and their faces were all smeared. Blood, blood, of course, coming from the nose. The same parallel. So, blood, the same it looked like. So, the big chief gave to that band the name Blood. country, the other side of the Canadian border. Now, the Canadian border is indicated by a line that has monuments along it. They live on the other side, or they sit down there. But the Blackfeet, they live this side of the Two Medicine River. Now, medicine, too, and a river is water in a line. But in this case, it's water that ripples over stones. So it's the Two Medicine River. This side of, they sit down. They occupy that country. But they are all pagan. They're all the same people. get on my horse, go way off, mountain, the other side of it, go home right. In the morning, when the sun comes up, I'll get on the train, I'm going away off to a far country. But when the winter is finished, the snow is all gone, Grass is coming up. It's spring again. I'll come back and we'll meet. We'll shake hands. We'll eat till we're filled up to there. And we'll sit down, we'll load the pipe, and we'll smoke. And we'll have a good visit. Our hearts will be big and we'll be happy. Everything will be all right. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.